My name's Missy and I hope you're enjoying all the tips, hacks, and tricks on my channel. Show you how to make a super easy, beautiful card with just minimal effort at all. I want to start out with this top tip because if you're new to mink foiling or even if you've been foiling for a while, I know we've pretty much all done this. Foil on the inside of our sheet. Now if you continue to use this, what's going to happen, this is going to end up transferring onto your cardstock. Don't throw this away. This is not garbage. This is totally usable and I'm going to show you how. Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. This is the sheet version, but you can get the thick pads. Um, but I have wet this, just barely dampened it. And then what you want to do is just apply a little bit of elbow grease. <laughs> You're going to scrub, 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 and it's going to come right off. This is going to save your transfer sheet so that you do not have to buy anymore. It's absolutely genius. It works like the toner inks or anything on your stencils that won't come off. Grab one of the Mr. Clean Magic Erasers or the sheets. It's going to work to take any of that stuff off. It's clean, so I can totally reuse this. Nothing's going to get transferred on my cardstock. Beautiful. Paper towel down here. This is what I'm going to be working on. Cling wrap out of my kitchen, and this stuff works so well, unless, of course, it's my husband using it, and he cannot tear this stuff off of the roll, no matter how hard he tries. The cardstock layer that I'm going to be using, and it is three and a half inches by four and three quarters inches. Heidi Swap toner ink and all of the links for all the products in this video will be linked in the description below this video. Toner ink I have placed into a dauber bottle. I'm going to open this up and when using this because it's been in here for a while I'm just going to lay this scrap piece of cardstock down and I'm going to dab it just like that to make sure it's good and juicy at the top. Once it's good and juicy I'm just going to go onto the plastic and just dab it just like this. Now, just try not to get your fingers in the toner, but then just dab it on just like that. I want to apply just a little bit more. Just avoid getting it on your fingers. and then just put it all over. And you can do this a couple times before you have to reload your plastic. Just go through and re-ink it again. Try not to get it on the fingers. I'm gonna move this down. I don't wanna get it on my counter. Okay, and just like this. I think I'm gonna do just a little more in the corner there. So you have full control with this. And I'm gonna set this off to the side. I don't have to worry about messing up my manicure because I already did that out in the garden today. I chipped my polish and I ripped off the top part of my fingernail when my polish came off. I got it entangled in a black netting and it ripped it off. It hurt really, really bad. Cap back up my toner ink because I don't need that now. Now I have my samples of cheer foil here. This color right here, you can see the rainbow effect in it with that beautiful pink color. That rainbow is just stunning. I'm going to cut this to fit on my card layer. Turn on my mink machine and I'm going to crank it all the way up to five because that's just what I do. I want to make sure it's good, toasty hot. So in just a matter of a minute or two, because I don't have this on here very thick, this dries very quickly. So this is an important step when you're foiling. You need some kind of a brush because you're going to dust off any of the fibers that could possibly get on the back side of your foil. So this is the pink side right here and I'm laying it down. So the back is going to be a silver and you're just going to dust it off. You're gonna dust off your actual toner ink 
just to make sure there's no fibers on here. And then we're going to lay this down just like that. You really want to dust stuff off all the time because it's going to cut down on your toner showing through because if particles settle on any of this, it's going to keep the foil from adhering to your toner ink. Pick this up and I'm going to place it inside my folder. I like to run things through sometimes twice just to be sure that's just a thing I do. You don't have to. More than likely it's going to work on the first time. I'm just paranoid that it's not. <laughs> so just for extra security, I like to run it through twice. Second time. Now I've got this out of the machine. I'm just going to turn off my mink. Wait for this to cool just a little bit. That shine, it's so pretty. This is always so exciting is for the reveal. Look at all that rainbow and shimmer. This is so pretty. I love this. You could make this into any card that you wanted. It's so gorgeous. Any holiday, very pretty. And the super cool thing about this is now this waist with those cool new toner sheets that are available. You can use this waist and have another gorgeous card. Tim Holtz, Distress Ink, Lost Shadow. If you have not discovered these yet, these are the next best thing. They're so good. So I am going to take this fun, like cheetah print stencil, and I'm gonna just lay this down over top, and I'm just gonna hold this by hand. I'm just gonna dab this into the lost shadow and I'm just gonna press it in these things are so fun to use just pounce it up and down all over and this just gives such an easy way to do this this is not hard on the hands this is very effective and there's so many good tricks on how to use these tools and I'm gonna show you more in upcoming videos but this is so crazy easy and fast to do and just apply it all over you just like dab 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 lift this off of here and you can see how fun that looks for this I just want to dab it off. When using these, you don't want to wet these because it'll just like swell up. I mean, if you leave it out for a few days, it will dry on its own and dry back. But you just want to dab the color off onto a paper towel or whatever you find easiest to use. And then you can swap out um, with a different color gray or whatever. And this is how I have all of them stored close by in a drawer right beside of my workstation. Once I have it all dabbed off, it goes right back into the container just like that. Now the ink that is laying on top of the foil, we want to get that off. So just lightly rub the top and just get that off of the foil. Just with a paper towel, you can see how it's coming off. That gets it off, and this is just stunning. I'm gonna dive right into my book of cardstock sheets. And if you're someone that doesn't have very much space in your craft room, these little books that have tons of sheets of cardstock in it, they're small and very easy to store. I am going to use this gray sheet right here. And I also love these because it's smooth, good quality cardstock. I have this really fun A2 card die. These make for some very simple, easy cards. And I'm just gonna cut that off. I'm gonna run this through my die cutting machine. I have the Big Shot Switch Plus machine and I have the Big Shot Fold Away machine and I absolutely adore both of those machines. They are so very easy to use. Look how gorgeous that cut is. Watch carefully what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to lay the happy birthday down and I'm going to turn over my rainbow sheet to where 
this is the back and I'm gonna lay it down in the very center of my die cut just like this since this is the back no one's gonna see it once I place it on my card so this is good I want to use a really rich black ink so I have the Gina K designs amalgam ink in the color obsidian this is my favorite black I use it a lot in my videos I have my handy dandy tool Let's get this out and I'm just gonna set that right there I'm gonna bring back in the stencil. I have already cleaned this off. Just make sure that the card stock right here is in the center. That looks pretty good. Okay, since this is a very rich black ink, this is going to look gorgeous. So I'm gonna just take it and start dabbing it around the edge. This is so crazy fun to do, and it's so easy. Just pounce it up and down, just like that. This is a very rich color, and this is going to look so gorgeous. Just wanna make sure it's good and dark all the way around. Always dab these tools off the best that you can before you put them away. So good peel this back and I'm gonna wipe this off if something happens that this ink kind of wants to stain the stencil again I'm gonna just go in with a mr. clean magic eraser and it will clean it right up turn this over look how pretty that's stunning I'm turning this over so that I can see the backs of the letters. And I'm going to be using this. And this tape runner is completely different from this tape runner. This is a solid tape runner and this is a dotted tape runner. I found that I really love using this. So I'm just going to go through and just on the backs of the letters just like that I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue dots really quick and easy So this is gonna work beautiful to adhere to my card layer. You just push it down and then look how simple and easy that was to do just with that tape runner. And I don't have no mess or sticky from oozy glue or anything like that. And it's adhered to my card layer. Best tape runner ever. I pre-make all of my card bases so they're up and ready to go to make quick and easy cards. And now I'm going to flip this over and now I'm going to use my other tape runner to glue the back. super easy and super fun anybody can do this don't forget to subscribe leave me a comment below like this video and i will catch you in that next video